Taurus, come on in, put your feet up and meet yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. Thank you. I know I'm a marvellous singer. All right, Taurus, this is your love reading. Bear in mind my love is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com. Or if you join my channel, the best price would probably be from um, Patreon. But each has its perks, so have a good look-see. See what you fancy. Taurus, what do you need to know about it? Like I said, take it out, it resonates. This is going to be a wild freaking ride for you. Wow, chef's kiss. Bottom of the deck. Oh, is that how you're feeling right now, eh? Feeling a little bit king of pentacles in reverse? Like you're not really all you could be, where, should be, want to be. Not where you want to be in your life. Feel like you've kind of not really been moving forwards i feel like you've been a little bit stuck well that's about to change thank you thank you everyone death death doesn't mean you're gonna die well you're all gonna die sorry you are but it doesn't mean that it means change death means change why am i wearing this silly hair but <laughs> Oh, that's why. Yeah, I look like look like a skunk. Just the sticky up tail over there. All right, Taurus. So you've been in this energy of. Mm. Just, nothing's happening. Can't make anything work out for me. Too many cards, hold on. Too many came out there. Ooh, I feel like you've been pretty in your comfort zone there, uh, uh, introverted. Like, you're like, I don't, I don't want to go out, I don't want to see anyone. I want to do anything. I don't want anyone to, to like, I just want to sit in my big pants and, and watch Netflix. It's all right. It's all right. But I only look good up here. The rest is like, I'm not going to show you, but <laughs> it's chilling here. I'm aerated. I'm wearing something. That doesn't mean I've got nothing going on, all right? All right, for you. Sorry, I'll stop. Magician. Reverse. What do you need to know right now? Taurus. I feel like for the first time in a while, this is a different Taurus reading. And I like this. This is, is things are changing for you here. I feel like you've kind of been in, in a... Now, if you're in a relationship, you've been unhappy in that relationship and you've kind of been muddling along, staying there because you feel safe, but you don't really get each other anymore. If this is a single Taurus, then yeah. 
you're very much in your comfort zone and you like it there but somebody's come along they're like they pull up in a wild crazy car and they're a freaking unicorn and they're like get in <laughs> and you're like where are we going it's just some like wild and crazy adventure that this beautiful unicorn is 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 setting you on advice from the universe go for it the fool is just like let's go let's do this let's jump off this cliff and and see what happens but you're afraid because you're like Whoa, feelings <laughs> feelings doing stuff is stepping out of your comfort zone and stepping out of your comfort zone i mean for me i don't like going out at night time i'm like no, once the I'm a reverse vampire, I'll be like, no, the the dark sets in. I must I must retreat. <clears throat> so <clears throat> my third check was like ah! <clears throat> This is about um It's a, a nervous feeling of uh not being able to express yourself. That's why this is coming out for me. <laughs> Cup of tea. Where's my whistle? This is kind of saying go for it. For me, I mean, I don't like going out at night. I like to go out in the daytime. That's like, I'm still out of my comfort zone if I'm going on a date. I'm going to have brunch on a date. But you want to go out for a drink at night? A, I don't drink, so no. And B, night time, what? I'm in bed by like, <laughs> bed by like half past nine. I'm going anywhere. Other well, people are going out by the time I'm going to bed. That's my comfort zone. If I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, it's still in the daytime. I've had my friends asking me, do you want to go to like a grown-up's rave this week? No. God, no. God, no. I'd rather put a campfire out with my face. I'd rather sit on a rusty nail. Sorry, I'm going on. Anything else you need to know right now? This is saying go for it. This person's come into your life. Oh. Um. This is this is more for Tauruses that are perhaps still in a connection with somebody else. You're not in love with that person anymore. I think that you still have love for them, but you're not in love with them. And you're kind of thinking, this wild and crazy unicorn has popped on your radar. I don't think that it's in your mind to have an affair with this person. I think that this would be a sneaky sort of let's have a friendship with this person, but not tell them about it, which is cheating. Even though you're thinking about not doing the act, it's still cheating. You're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get caught. So, uh, my advice there is, yeah, go for it, but end one thing before you start another. There's no point being in a relationship just because, you know, well, you just muddle along and do it. You only live once. Well, you know, in this life, you, I actually don't believe that. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't believe that at all. We're multidimensional beings living a temporary human experience. It's not 
I, I think it kind of is a game actually, but it's not a game, right? But I kind of think it is. It's not a game. Enjoy your life. Live it to the full. Don't sit there thinking what could be, what should be, and have regrets. Get on with it. I think that the idea of being friends with this person, brilliant idea. Don't jump into a relationship. Don't jump into bed. Be friends with this person. You were right on the right path there, but end, end the other thing as well, okay? You might want to see maybe, yeah, do I, is this someone I get along with? Do we like each other? You don't want to be shallow. You were afraid of getting your heart broken. For what? That's the... For what? Also, I leave this, you know, comfortable relationship I'm in to, you know, go and test the water with someone else and so get my heart broken for what now i've lost everything i have that's the question look this is not prison right those swords aren't keeping this woman there that rope tying her up is not rope it's toilet paper she can get free very easily it's a prison of her own making. And that's the prison that you're in now. You're not happy. You want to explore life. You're afraid of getting your heart broken. I'm losing everything. Yeah, but these are all thoughts that the universe is trying to say, oh, come on, live a little. You're just going to remain meh for the rest of your life. You're gonna be happy. Bottom of the deck. Just saying. Choose happiness. What's coming up in the near future? <laughs> well, <laughs> lovers. Okay, yeah, it, it could be, you know. Or it could be choices. Are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? Really? I've got a problem with this deck. Really? Ladyscaping? Really? Sorry. What's coming up in the near future? And he's got a beard. <coughs> yep, you're here again, not being able to say how you feel, not being able to say what you want. You're afraid that what you're going into, right? You're afraid about of this all being an illusion and, and it it's just gonna be something that's heartbreaking. You're afraid of what you might lose. What you're not seeing is what you might have to look forward to. Have hope. Believe that you know you might actually be happy this time. Just a thought, just a thought, you know, good stuff might actually happen to you. Oh, all oh my cards are going everywhere. Don't. What have I just lost? Best you can hope for. Mm. Oh, yeah. The world. 
I can taste so many things right now. Like this is this is that unicorn that's that's come into your life, the center of your universe, the world revolving around this person, and their world revolving around you, and you're the center of their universe. And oh my god, it's amazing! And yeah, there's that. The world's a brilliant card, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a science bit. I'm gonna do a science bit, everyone. I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going down there. Okay. Scientists say that energy cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed. So, all of the energy that ever was and ever will be already exists. So any reality, anything that you could manifest, anything that you could believe actually exists. You could be a millionaire, you know? You could be a tramp on the street. <laughs> You could have 12 kids and, and live in a mansion. I don't know. Anything is possible. You could be a rock star. You, you could be a fashion model. Anything. Anything is friggin' possible. It is absolutely possible. Right? That's what scientists say. And then you, you know, start getting spiritual on that as well. With the law of attraction. Again, positive energy creates positive energy. That's science. But then you start adding the spiritual to it. So you put that positive energy out there that you are going to be happy, that you're going to fall in love and be with someone who's amazing and someone who understands you, someone who excites you, Someone who makes you feel like you're alive. That energy already exists. You just need to tune into that frequency. Imagine life being a radio station and you're like listening to country radio. I don't want to listen to country radio. I want classic rock. Ooh. And then you tune into it and that's the frequency that you're on. You level up to the next frequency and that's your life. That's what you want it to be. And that's the best that you can hope for. Is that you can have anything that you want. And you can be anything that you want. It has to be realistic enough that you can imagine it though. Because yeah, you could be a millionaire. But can you imagine that? Can you see yourself as that? Because if you can't, then you won't. <laughs> have you ever been happy in your life? Ever. Remember what that's like? Being happy? So you've had it. So you can have it again, right? You can picture it. You can see it. So you can imagine it. And remember what it's like. And you can have that in the future. And this is you. Working on it. Because we've got the death card here, I'm sort of seeing you starting fresh, building a new life from the bottom up, building new foundations, getting it right this time. Taking a step back and looking at your life and going, oh, I don't want it like that. I definitely want it like that, though. That's you that's what's coming up for you then let's ask about them i'm going to take this into the extended who is this amazing unicorn like person let's ask about them they are uh the sun we've got the two ones in reverse for them though it's almost like they're not really expecting They think that you're not available emotionally. So they're not really expecting an awful lot. 
I think they maybe not um, uh, available emotionally, but um, maybe in a relationship. Maybe that you're in a relationship. This person's very free and easy. I don't think they're expecting uh, to hear from you. But we'll take it into the extended where I'm going to ask about them. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But uh, I don't think that um, they are expecting anything from you. Let's read the outcome here. Ace of Wands. Da, 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 da. I just think we've got lovers here. <clears throat> this person is a very sensual um, influence, very sexy, very loving influence on your life. And it's a new beginning. It's wood, okay? wood could be a bit phallic just saying it's the tap of the season so where you've got a new beginning new beginning ending where you have not had happiness and harmony in your life. We've got the tower here. So building a new life and, and all of that is, is definitely new foundations. This tower is falling because it wasn't built right. It's, it's ending what was not right for you. Stop communicating. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, you, your song of the day is time of the season by the zombies. That's I've, I've already started. I'm not going to pull you that card. Take time to breathe out. <sighs> it's... Yeah, that's what I want to say. So when you, you're breathing in new air, you're breathing out the old air. Take time to breathe out, so take time to let go of I mean, you don't need the air that you're breathing out, right? It's just a thought. Hasn't got the uh, elements in it that you need anymore to keep you living, to keep you alive. So you breathe it out. So breathe it out, mate. Get rid of what's not helping you live. Has he taken any time to show you what you need to live? <laughs> yeah. That's from the time of the season again. What do you need to live? It's not the past, it's the future. All right, my loves, I'm gonna take this into the extended. Thank you for joining me, see you later.